Hello, everyone. I hope you are all doing well today. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Lily, and welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. I am so appreciative of your support. Okay, I'm going to get right to it. And I am working on finishing a few of the journals, and I've, I've mentioned it in the past that I'm working on a few journals that I started last summer or last spring. <laughs> and so I have... I am just uh, going to try to finish them uh, as soon as possible because I there's so many projects I want to work on and these uh, these journals that I have pending <laughs> I really need to take care of them. Okay, so here is one of them, the one I'm currently working on just to finish. They're they're pretty much already um, done. The covers are all done on them. The signatures are done, and this is just full of all of the embellishments that I just want to add into the journal and some of the ribbons and trims that I want to decorate. And so, but right now, I'm not going to go through the journal. What I'm going to focus on is the cover, and I've mentioned in the past how I have been super inspired by Andrea at Artie Mays, and she makes these toppers for journals, and I'll show you what I'm talking about and this is it right here so she works on toppers individual toppers and sets them aside and then adds them to the front of her journals to add that extra um, embellishment you know so this is if you have been with me for a little bit you saw that last summer I made this ephemera folder out of envelopes these were oh nine by thirteen envelopes and so it just holds all of my ephemera. It's just uh, envelopes that have been folded in half. And then the cover is also made from an envelope. I have a video. I will link it at the bottom and at the end of the video so you can see how it is that I put this together. But what I did, inspired by Andrea, was this topper. And so I had watched one of her videos and came up with this, uh, my own rendition, I suppose, of her topper. Anyway. So this is now inspiring me to create a topper for the new journal, for this one right here, okay? What I, I went around my room and I collected a few things that were calling to me and I laid them here on the table just to make it easier. Uh, and I think that these right here will be perfect, perfect for, for the cover uh, to be used as a topper. And I may not use everything here, but these are some of the... Um, the elements that I was drawn to and so we're gonna put we're gonna put a topper together here and let's see let's see what happens uh, what comes about from this okay now I started out with a piece of corrugated cardboard and what's funny is that I I'll shake this off camera <laughs> I'm gonna um, put a little bit of this white chalk paint um, on this cover to make it look weathered and I love that weathered look. Well, my uh, my idea of weathered look is to just put some paint <laughs> on my projects, some some distress like paint on the project. Anyway, okay. So I had the hardest time, you guys, finding. Let me cover that glare. Finding uh, corrugated cardboard, and I thought I had saved them, but then you know I I said to myself one day I can't be saving everything. I have to get rid of some stuff. So. Finding this piece was a chore, but I found it. Who doesn't have corrugated cardboard? I don't have corrugated cardboard because, you know, sometimes you look at all your things and you're like, okay, I've got to get rid of some things. So I can't, I can't have everything. Okay. So I'm going to grab, I didn't have my little paint thing. Okay. Oh, usually I'll use my book, my glue book as my paint palette, but I'm going to use this. I just need a little bit of paint. So I am going to... Just add some paint to this. Now I started chipping it away. I wanted to do more, but um, I think that'll work because the center of it will be covered. Okay, so then I grabbed an old brush. This is just an old inexpensive brush. I've had it for a long time. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, let's put that there. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit of paint. I'm just gonna kind of dry brush on there um, not sure what this is going to, what the outcome is going to be, but you know what? If we don't play, we will never know. And then this may 
inspire other ideas. So let's just, let's just paint a little bit of paint. This is paint, chalk paint by Folk Art. And I purchased it at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. This is my idea of weathered. And I just love that chippy paint look. So really no, no rhyme or reason. Just kind of dabbing or brushing that paint on there. I think if, if we put too much thought into what we're making, you know, we all strive for perfection. Um, and sometimes we don't, at least me, I'm not going to say we, but at times I put things off because I don't have the mindset or I'm not, you know, I don't have everything that I need to prepare for my projects. But I've realized over the years that, um, and even more recently that if I just get down and dirty and just start playing and with no, with no real, a plan in mind, especially when it comes to creating and I just play and I just let it take its course, you guys. So that's basically what I'm doing. So here is, there is that. And I know some of it, uh, most of it will be covered, but that's okay. Um, we know that this is there and now I'm not sure. So let's go back and look at my inspiration for a second. So what I did here is I took old book page with more, no, this bottom piece right here is um, cardstock, vanilla colored cardstock. And then I added book page and then just uh, old receipts, scrapbooking paper that I, that I um, stained with some inks and then used this, this cutout. And then I made a little embellishment there. Okay, so this is kind of what I want. So I'm looking at the layers to see if this is what I want to do. And kind of, yeah, I do. So I've got some sorry silk ribbon here that I might use. Uh, I purchased this on Etsy. It's by Peron Yarns. And you could see there where I got it. So it's really cool. I have different colors. And so I have that. Right now, let's layer. Let's, uh, let's put some, let's put a layer down and uh, let's see what that looks like. I'm telling you, if I just don't, if I don't do it, it's not going to happen. So let me cut some down. There's that. I'm using super old, hundred year old book paper. And I know if I fold it, if I fold it, it will, um, it will just tear. It's so brittle. It's so cool. I mean, it's too bad that it's so brittle, but it's really cool that it tears so easy. Okay. So what if we do that? Maybe. No, I think I want to do this. I think I want it more. Yeah, more like that. And maybe I want to use some music paper. This is old music paper that I just purchased at a thrift store and I save all those other bits and pieces because I will I will use them so right now I'm just going to I want to layer I want to layer some of these pieces and see what it looks like oh, is that upside down <laughs> Let's see. No, it's not. It's not upside down. Okay. Hope you guys are all doing well. It is Sunday afternoon here for me. And I am I'm going to be cooking dinner in just a little bit. And I am going to be making some albondigas. If you guys are familiar, albondigas is like a, like a meatball soup. So I am going to make that. And so I went to the grocery store this morning uh, and had to pick up some of some items. Am I blurred, you guys? Sorry. There we go. I hope that I hope that wasn't blurry for too long. I apologize. Apologize. So I'm making albondigas, and I said, okay, I'm gonna give myself uh, 45 45 minutes or so to play around with this topper, and then I'm going to get to cooking dinner. Okay, so let's. I've got everything downstairs just waiting for me. Okay, how does that look? I like it. I like it. And then I have some. So I have this flower that I have already 
I've already cut apart. Let me show you. I have this book I purchased on clearance. It, I, maybe it cost me 79 cents, and it is a great book. It's got some scripture in it, and I have read through it. But I love it because it has all of these great floral images and um, wonderful quotes and, you know, some scripture with it. And I had it for a little bit, and then I just started getting into it and taking some pages out. So that is... Excuse me, that is where this flower came from, and I've already cut it apart. So let me add a little bit of staining to these edges. I could have cut closer, but I don't mind that white edge. I mean, it just shows that it's been cut up, that I fussy cut it, which I don't mind. So I suppose, depending on the project that I'm working on, I may get closer. Sometimes I like the white edge. All depends on what I'm feeling that, you know, at that moment. And a week or so ago when I cut this one, that is what I was in the mood for. And I set it aside, hoping I would be able to use it soon. And so here we are. We are going to use it. So, yeah, that looks great. Just add a little bit of staining to that. Just a little bit to kind of give it a little bit of a distressed look. Okay, I even like the way that looks right there. <laughs> Does it need anything else? How about some coffee dyed paper? I think so. Let's do some coffee dyed paper. So this is these are just strips left over from some legal size paper that I coffee dyed. And these are, when I fold down my pages for signatures, these are just the excess pieces left over. So I'm also going to do something that I saw Artie Mays do. She takes little bits and pieces of strips of paper and she cuts them and she uses them for to make borders. And that is what I'm going to do right here. Okay, so let's make a border, a lacy border. This is an old Martha Stewart punch that I've had for a little while. Okay. I should have probably had this done in advance, but that's all right. I didn't know what I was going to do. And so that is what it looks like. So maybe we can do that to it. Right there. I think I want some there, but I also want to balance it out. And maybe I want some over here as well. So let me take another little piece of paper. Here's this one. And just cut a little bit more of it. So the thing with these is I just have to line it up so that the pattern stays consistent. And if it doesn't, well, then it doesn't. <laughs> Let me know if you guys know what albondigas are. Let me know what you think. If you like albondigas, there we go, just like that. Let me get rid of that. Oh, I like that. So a little bit over here. How's that? Is that too much? Maybe I should cut it down a little bit. Trim it down a little. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab a piece of cardstock and put it under so we can get... It'll get rid of that glare and then it'll help me focus on, on this right here. So I think I want this shorter. I love how these little trims, these lacy things turn out. And you can use any punch you want. And I just love the way it looks on that coffee dyed paper. It looks, it looks beautiful. So uh, how about some right there? And maybe some right here. Just a little bit of that. And then that right there. Okay, do we need to do... Do I want to do coffee dyed paper underneath? Well, let's see. I don't know. I like that burnt edge. When I say burnt, it was, uh, I sun dried this coffee dyed paper with um, a lace image over it. And so I left it out in the sun too much, too long. And so it kind of got crispy, but I like that. Okay. Okay. 
what if I go over it? How about like this? Do I like that? Yes, I do. I like that right there. Okay. Uh, I want to put everything together so that I can start gluing things down. If not, I am going to run out of time. And I just want to give myself about 30 minutes or so. Let's use some of this sari silk. Oh my gosh, where's the end? Let me find it over here on the side. Oh my goodness, I think I'm just going to have to cut into it. Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay. It is, it feels so nice. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do is tie a bow around that stem. At least that's the, that's the idea, the vision that I had. I saw that. So what if I do this? So I'm taking some of that sorry silk and I am just going to add a little bow around the stem. Let's see. And I'm okay with the stem, excuse me, with the bow being wonky. I just want to add a little bit of softness, soften up the cover of it with with that sorry silk. This is what I'm talking about right here. That's what I want. Okay. So now, oh, yes, yes, yes. I love it. Okay. The other thing I also want to add, I had these doilies set aside, but I'm not going to use these because I think I like the way the coffee dyed punch looks better. Uh, but what I do have is this old little trinket box and it was from Stampin' Up! HodgePodge Hardware. I've had this for a long time, you guys, like 10 or so years, maybe. And I found it in when I was moving. You know, I've, I've recently moved, and I've gone through everything that I've had, or everything that I have. And so I came across these little book plates. So I'm going to use one of these. And let me decide on which one. Do I want it round? Or do I want it rectangle, rectangular? I think I like the round one. So I'll use this one and these are not the same shade. These are more bronzy. Okay, so these, long, long time ago I've had these. Forgot I had it because I have other hardware as well. Okay, so you know what I do every once in a while? I will go through my boxes, open drawers, and go through my inventory because if you are anything like me, I collect stuff and I purchase things and I thrift find things. And as soon as I get everything, I clean it up and put everything in its place or where it belongs. But then if I don't see it, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And so it's important to kind of go through your inventory every once in a while so that you don't forget what you have and you can actually use your supplies. All right, how about we start gluing something down because I need to attach this. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some glue. Add glue to this and then put the cardboard, the corrugated cardboard over it. Okay, right there, and right there. Let me see, let me bring in the cover. How's that? That'll work. And you know, if, once I tie the ribbon around the front cover, if, if the little paper laces, if they get a little bit grungy, um, when I wrap up the cover, because I plan on wrapping it, let me show you again. So I have this, this really nice velvet ribbon that I want to use to wrap around the cover. And so once it wraps around, if it makes this a little bit grungy, um, that's okay. I think I'm okay with that because I want it to look a little bit tattered, you know? Okay, so let's, let's glue these down. I really like this glue, you guys. It is super strong. And it really sticks things down. There's another adhesive that I really like that works especially good with, um, with like metal pieces. And that's, I'll show you which one it is in just a second. But this one, this um, art glue. Did I put that down correctly? 
Oh my gosh, no, I didn't. What? <laughs> right there like this. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the other glue that I like is this one. This multi multi matte medium by Ranger. This stuff is amazing too. It holds um, metal pieces down, metal embellishments. You just have to, I let it dry overnight, but it holds it really well. Okay. Now let's glue this one. Is that right? Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I was asking you about albondigas. Albondigas. They are so good. Meatball soup. Mexican meatball soup. I love it. And the weather here is perfect for it. Perfect. It snowed yesterday. It's uh, snowing on and off today. A little bit of rain, a little bit, of, a little bit of snow. So it's perfect soup weather. Okay, now let's put this one there. And it doesn't take very long to make albondigas. At least it. No, it doesn't take long. Maybe an hour. I just form the meatballs, drop them in the chicken stock. And then pop the vegetables in there. Mmm. Okay, I'm getting hungry. Is it dinner time yet? Is this next? Yes. Oh, the other thing I was going to do is I was going to add some lace. Some lace trim. We'll see. Now, I'm putting everything down. If once it's all put down, if I see that some edges are lifting or need extra adhesive, um, then I'll go back and then add um, more adhesive to it because I want to make sure it's adhered properly so that it doesn't come off once it's, you know, a topper on there. Okay, so now I am going to put this in place right here. I think I want it right there. Okay, so I'm going to get my little pokey tool. Where is it? Did I have it right here? Here we go. Okay, is that good right here? What do you guys think right there? Yes, I think that looks great. Okay, right there. And right there. And now I will poke through it. Super easy to poke through. This is not at all difficult. And then get one of these little brads. I'm racing here against the clock, you guys. I'm trying to get it done before the 30 minute mark. And it's not a challenge. I'm not challenging myself to get it done within 30 minutes. Um, I just can't record more than 30 minutes. <laughs> I can't only 30 minutes. I only have 30 minutes. Okay, so let me do this. Can you guys see what I'm doing there? Am I out of focus? I hope not. Okay, let's stick it in there. Okay. So there's that on the back. This one. Okay, where's my little hole? Where's my little hole? Right there. Okay, and I'll put that in there. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this. This looks so good. Sometimes the best ideas come under pressure. Okay, it looks whack in the back, but we're not going to do, we're not focusing on the back. I love this so much. And you know what? I think it needs, does it need more paint? What do you think? Does it need a little? No, I don't think it needs paint. I think it needs, I think it needs a little bit of gold. So I have some Heidi, Heidi Swap Shine. So let me, okay, let's, before I put the gold on it, because I'm done with this. So before I do, this is, oh, you guys, look at that. Tell me you love it. Okay, I love it. I hope you do too. Oh my goodness. And then once it's wrapped with this beautiful velvet gold ribbon. Oh, this is amazing. I love it. I'm looking at it now through the lens so I could see what you are looking at. And I think this turned out better than I had imagined. Ooh, I could look at this all day. It looks so romantic. Okay, 
So bring it back. What did I say I was going to do? Oh, add a little bit of a little bit of this. And now this I'm going to have to let whoa. Okay. I'm going to have to let it <laughs> I'm going to have to let this dry overnight because the um the Heidi Swap shine, it needs to set overnight. Okay, I need to put the glue on this. Let me move away so I could see what I'm doing. Okay. I can't open this. Oh my gosh. Oh, let me step away for a second and moan and grunt over here on the side. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. I just needed something to grip it with. So a baby wipe works. Okay. So I am going to do some splatters and I'm going to be careful because I'm wearing white pants. Who does that? You guys, didn't we have this conversation recently? I was wearing a white shirt the other day. Yeah. Or during my last video. Oh my goodness. So I love white clothing, but maybe I shouldn't craft in it. <laughs> How's that? Can you see how that looks? Let me bring it up. Does it need a little bit more? It's very subtle, very subtle, but I like the way that looks. I'm going to do a little bit more over here. Whoa. And I'm standing back so I don't get any on my white clothes, my white pants. When I was in high school a long time ago, yes, back in the 80s, I took a pair of white pants and I um, splattered them with pink paint. Those were my favorite pants, but that was intentional. Okay, there we go. I am done. Can you see that? Oh my goodness, you guys. I love this so much that now I want to make a second one absolutely love this. I think I'm going to, do I need to glue this down? Okay. I'm going to let this sit overnight and make sure that everything is glued on. Um, I might go in and add a little more glue over here on this edge, maybe a little bit more over here, let it sit overnight. And then I will, um, add it to the front cover of the journal. And how about the next video I do, you guys, we embellish the journal together. I think that's a really good idea, but this is what I wanted to show you. This is what I had in mind. And I honestly can't believe that I did this under 30 minutes, but oh my gosh, I love it. Okay. Enough of that. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you being here on a Sunday with me and you guys play with your stuff, go through your inventory. If if there's a takeaway from this video today, it's go through your inventory, find out what you already have and start playing with it and just play. Let's play, you guys. All right, you guys take care. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't, let me know why. I want to hear from you, good or bad, you guys. Take care. And I appreciate you guys so much. Stay healthy. Be well. Take care. Have a great week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.